Hello, students. How are you? I'm Teacher Jennifer. ¿Cómo están, chicos? Soy Teacher Jennifer. El día de hoy vamos a realizar las actividades de esta semana. This week we are going to practice this vocabulary about classroom objects. Recuerden que estamos trabajando con el libro Students Book. Okay? So here we are going to practice the vocabulary about classroom objects. Okay, to class. So now you are going to look at the picture and you have to repeat. In number one, we have pencil. Pencil. In number two, we have pencil case. Pencil case. In number three, we have crayon. Crayon. In number four, we have book. Book. In number five, we have backpack. Backpack. In number six, lunch box. Lunch box. In number seven, map. Map. Number eight, ruler. Ruler. Number nine, eraser. Eraser. So, we have to make a question. Okay? We have to make a simple question. Tenemos que hacer la pregunta que estamos trabajando en esta semana. Remember, what's this? What's this? I'm going to write the question. What's this? This is the question. What's this? Usamos esta pregunta para saber qué son, qué objetos son. This is the pronunciation. Listen. What's this? What's this? And you have to answer. It's a or it's an. Okay, let's see. I'm going to write. So this is the question. What's this? And the answer is it's a or it's an. For example, in number one. Look at number one. What's this? It's a pencil. What's this? It's a pencil. Number two. What's this? It's a pencil case. What's this? It's a pencil case. Number three. What's this? It's a crayon. What's this? It's a crayon. Number four. What's this? It's a book. What's this? It's a book. Number five. What's this? It's a backpack. What's this? It's a backpack. Number six, what's this? It's a lunchbox. What's this? It's a lunchbox. Number seven, what's this? It's a map. What's this? It's a map. Number eight, what's this? It's a ruler. What's this? It's a ruler. Number nine, what's this? It's an eraser. What's this? It's an eraser. Very good, kids. Now we are going to write one example. Vamos a escribir un ejemplo. Okay? Here. In number one. For example, this is the question. Remember. What's this? It's a pension. It's a pencil. We are going to write, it's a pencil. Okay? Example number one. Look, en el ejemplo número uno, escribí la pregunta, what's this? Y la respuesta correcta es usando la palabra, it's, it's a pencil. It's a pencil. For example, one more, one more example, un ejemplo más. In number two, pencil case, this is a question. What's this? What's this? Quiero saber qué es. So we have to answer. It's a pencil case. It's a pencil case. Remember, recuerda, utiliza, utilizamos la palabra it's para responder. Okay? It's 
attention is. And finally, one more example. This time, in number one, look, the question is, what's, what's this? What's this? This is the question. ¿Qué es esto? The answer is, it's an eraser. It's an eraser. ¿Ok? En un momento vamos a explicar por qué he colocado an. ¿Ok? In one minute, I'm going to explain. Now, next. Next page. Page number 20. Look. Listen and read. What's this? Look at the boys. There are two boys. One boy, ask. And the other, answer. What's this? It's a pencil. What's this? It's a pencil. Es decir, el niño responde, este es un lápiz porque lleva en sus manos un lápiz. Pero ¿qué pasa si el niño lleva un libro? Imagínate que el niño lleva un libro. Remember, how do you say libre in English? Vamos a recordar cómo se dice libre en inglés. Pero antes voy a hacer la pregunta en inglés. What's this? It's a book. What's this? It's a book. Book. Libre en inglés se dice book. Ok? Now, imagine a different picture. Ahora imagínate otra imagen. Supongamos que el niño tiene mm, una regla. Do you remember how do you say regla in English? Okay, I'm going to make the question. What's this? It's a ruler. What's this? It's a ruler. Yes, regla in English is ruler. Ruler. Very good. So here we are going to remember the vocabulary. Pencil case. What color is a pencil case? It's blue. Okay. Crayon. It's a crayon. The crayon is red. It's a book. It's a lunch box. It's a backpack. It's a map. It's a pencil. It's a ruler. Now, I am going to write. Yo voy a escribir, ¿ok? It's a pencil case. Next. It's a crayon. It's a crayon. What color is the crayon? It's red. Next. It's a book. It's a book. It's a lunch box. Lunch box. How do you say mochila in English? Yes, very good. It's a backpack. It's a backpack. Next. How do you say mapa in English? Yes, it's a map. It's a map. Now, how do you say lapis in English? Very good. It's a pencil. It's a pencil. And finally, how do you say regla in English? Yes, very good. It's a ruler. Perfect. So, here, we wrote the names of the picture. For example, it's a pencil case, it's a crayon, it's a book, it's a lunch box, it's a backpack, it's a map, it's a pencil, it's a ruler. Continue. Now, look at the pictures. Observe las imágenes. Pencil case, a book, a lunchbox. For example, the colors, the colors are in the pencil case. 
los colores están adentro de la capuchera. The colors are in the pencil case. So now, look at the book. Observa el libro. Where is the book? Yes, very good. On the table. The book is on the table. Significa que el libro está sobre la mesa. The book is on the table. Um, I have a question. Tengo una pregunta. What color is the book? Is it yellow or is it red? Very good. The book is red. Red color. Okay? But remember. Where is the book? ¿Dónde está el libro? It's on the table. On the table. Sobre la mesa. Now, look at the lunchbox. Observa la lunchera. Yes, it's a lunchbox. The banana. Where is the banana? Yes, it's in the lunch box. The banana is in the lunch box. ¿Y qué significa in the lunch box? Adentro de la lunchera. Si yo digo, the banana is in the lunch box, significa que un plátano está adentro de la lunchera. ¿Ok? O por ejemplo, an apple. What is the apple? The apple is in the lunch box. Okay? So, one more time. The colors are in the pencil case. The book is on the table. The banana is in the lunch box. Very good. One question. Una pregunta. ¿Qué otro objeto puedes guardar in the pencil case? A different object. A roller, very good. A pencil, an eraser. Perfect. Now, in the lunch bag. ¿Qué cosas puedes poner dentro de un lunch bag? A sandwich, an apple, cookie. Very good. Perfect. So now, Look, we have am, an. Tenemos la palabra, la letra a y la palabra an. ¿Ok? A significa un o una. ¿Ok? In Spanish, un o un. An significa lo mismo, un o una. ¿Ok? But there is a difference. Hay una diferencia. ¿Ok? We use an. Before a consonant. ¿Ok? Usamos a antes de una palabra que empieza con consonante. ¿Ok? Por ejemplo, a pencil, a book, a copy book, a quadro. ¿Ok? A, un, a pencil, un lápiz. A book, un, a copy book, un blog. A quadro, una copia. ¿Ok? So, an, an. Remember, an significa un o un. We use an before a vowel sound. Usamos an antes de una vocal. ¿Ok? Antes de una vocal. For example, an egg, an orange, an apple, an eraser. ¿Ok? Estas palabras comienzan con una vocal. ¿Ok? Por tanto, por lo tanto, tengo que utilizar an. An. El significado es lo mismo. An egg, un huevo. An orange, una naranja. An apple, una manzana. An eraser, un morón. So now, voy a agregar un ejemplo usando a. Remember, a pencil, a book, a copy book, a cual. Recuerda que la palabra tiene que comenzar con una consonante. Um, let's see. For example, a... Ruler. Ruler. La palabra ruler empieza con una consonante. Por lo tanto, digo a ruler. Now, one example using an. Remember, we use an before a vowel. Or a vowel sound. ¿Ok? Usamos an antes de una palabra que comienza con vocal. Por ejemplo, umbrella. Umbrella. Zombie. ¿Ok? An umbrella. 
la palabra umbrella comienza con la U, que es una vocal. It's a vowel, vocal, vowel. Okay? So this is the D. Okay? So this is... This is the vocabulary. Okay? So we are continuing the next class. Okay? Don't forget, practice the book. Bye-bye, children.